call to stand in her shoes. Well, I'll try my best to do what I can to please you all. <laughs> eh? <laughs> all right. Unity. Dr. Mrs. Jemima Dennis A.G. Our only professor, Professor Lydia Ziato, keynote speaker, and the latest, the freshest, the Minister. Next managers here in present, executives of MMSSG and members here present, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, all protocol read. I bring you warm greetings from the National Executive Committee, especially Madam President. President who would have loved to be part of this program and to be here with us. But it's on an assignment in Geneva. I equally bring you warm greetings from the National Council of the Ghana Registered Nurses and Midwives Association. Madam Chair, I'll go ahead straight to read the President's message, which she has asked me to present on her behalf. The Nest and Midwife Specialist Society was admitted under the GRMNA just a little over a year ago after satisfying the requisite conditions. And we are happy that they are holding their maiden conference at this time. A time when we can equally project our own sister, mother, friend, and a colleague, Professor Lydia Aziato. once we put our heads 
and our minds to them. The theme she's going to speak on today, investing in specialist nurses and midwives, a catalyst for improved quality and accessible healthcare, could not have been at any better time her readiness to share her knowledge and expertise in research and other fields always adds to our admiration of her. We are in a time where we need our next midwife to appreciate that the fact appreciate the fact that specialization is the way to go. Although sometimes the employer does not see that and therefore puts impediments in our way. It is the surest way to build our professions. As a trade union representing the interests of nurses and midwives in Ghana, we will continue to engage stakeholders in ensuring that the necessary environment is created for thousands of our professionals to attain specialized skills. Madam Chair, ladies and gentlemen, nurses and midwives contribute significantly to the health sector of all economies in the world. And the COVID-19 pandemic has indeed shown the invaluable contributions nurses and midwives have made throughout history. As we all know, the World Health Organization designated the year 2020 as the year of the nurse and the midwife, and further designated the year 2021 as the International Year of Health and Care Workers. We should all be proud as health professionals to have contributed to saving humanity in the way we have touched lives in this pandemic, not only in Ghana, but the world over. The pandemic has also clearly demonstrated that nursing care has an economic impact that is a way beyond value that government plays on them. The primary responsibility of elected leaders in government is to keep people safe. But the COVID-19 pandemic has shown that you simply cannot do that without real and sustained investment in nurses and the healthcare workforce. This is a commitment that must be written into the heart of the post-pandemic treaty that world leaders are negotiating. The proposed pandemic treaty must carry the voices of globally nursing community and midwives as well as other health professionals to ensure that as a world we are better prepared the next time round. And ensure equity and knowledge sharing on every health issue and the development of new medications and vaccines. We therefore call on government as the largest employer and the Ministry of Health to prioritize investment in medicine and midwifery by ensuring more and more of us get specialized. By representing the socioeconomic interests of the thousands of nurses and midwives in Ghana, we shall continue to prioritize the welfare of our members. As you all may know or be aware of, we have already instituted the annual payment of professional education number and auxiliary education number renewal fees for GRNA members. We've also rolled out the GRNA welfare loans. We have the health fund support, the flat and fire support among many others. We've also enhanced the GRNA all nurses fund and retirement benefits and continue to financially support our regional and district constituents 
to deliver quality services to members of the association. We will continue to work with our partners within the next number fraternity, as well as other partners in the health sector space, to ultimately ensure that we all are well positioned to provide quality health services to the good people of Ghana and of course to our members. Madam Chair, I will conclude my address by saying that we are proud of the NMSSG. Congratulations on how far you have come. We only hope that you will be able to mobilize and organize your members nationwide to benefit the GRNMB. We therefore wish the entire society well and hope no one attendee will go back to his or her station say as he came or she came in here. Long live 